Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We're still in chapter 6. But for this video, I would like to explain about transcription. So the objective, overview the role of transcription and translation in a flow of genetic information. And then explain transcription. So let's start. So, before we know transcription process is, so actually transcription is one of the process in protein synthesis. So, we know that in our body, it involves many enzymes. So, the enzyme is protein. Same goes to hormone. Some hormone is made up of protein. So, that is very important to us to know how the protein is being synthesized. So, the protein synthesis involves the gene provide the instruction for making specific protein so to get the gene okay it will consist of two major process the first one is transcription process it occur in the nucleus where the dna is used to be a template to produce mrna later on after the mrna is being produced the mrna will be used as a template in a process called translation translation take place in cytoplasm so the code in the mrna will provide the information to produce polypeptide so the importance here production of hormone and enzyme in organism so this is the overview of the process first in the nucleus have dna and then dna will be used as a template and then undergo transcription to produce pre-mrna and then from pre-mrna it will undergo process called rna splicing so produce mRNA. The difference between pre-mRNA and RNA is pre-mRNA will consist a, a non-coding region that called as intron. But for mRNA, it will consist of all coding region which is exon. So during RNA splicing, intron will be removed. So the mRNA next will be transported to the cytoplasm. And in cytoplasm, translation occur. And the product is polypeptide, which is a protein. So this is the flow of information. We call um, the concept of central dogma. The DNA itself will replicate to produce double strand of DNA. Okay, so many double strand of DNA, then they will act as the template in a process called transcription. So the product is mRNA. Then the mRNA will become a template in a process called translation. So the process will produce polypeptide, which is the protein. So let's take a look. What is transcription? So hopefully at the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the stages involved in transcription, which is three, initiation, elongation, and termination. And state the formation of mRNA strand from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. So this is the basic thing, eh? okay? If a question asks you, what is transcription? Just remember this, DNA to mRNA. And then try to produce your own sentence. Try to make your own sentence. You can say that a process using DNA as template to produce mRNA. Okay, a process using DNA as a template to produce mRNA. Or you can make a reverse sentence. Process producing mRNA from the DNA also can. So since DNA is present in the nucleus, so the transcription takes place in the nucleus. And compared to uh, DNA replication, have eight enzymes involved. But for this process, transcription, you just need to remember one enzyme, which is RNA polymerase. Okay, remember, the enzyme involved in transcription is RNA polymerase. So here, okay, it shows the NA double strand, which is anti parallel, 3 prime to 5 prime, 5 prime to 3 prime. Then this DNA double strand, they're going to separate. One of DNA strand will act as a template in transcription. So here, the mRNA is produced, which complement to the parental strand. Before we start about the process of transcription, let's take a look at the DNA of gene. So for transcription, we have three important 
gene. Okay, at the D and E sequence to be remembered. The first is called promoter. Promoter is the place where RNA polymerase bind to initiate the transcription process. Usually, okay, promoter will have TATA sequence. Okay, basically, we also known promoter as data box because the sequence here is TATA. So that's why promoter also known as data box. So remember, promoter is the site where RNA polymerase bind to initiate the transcription process. And then we have the transcription unit, means the unit which going to be transcribed by the RNA polymerase. And then the red one is represent terminator, which is the ending point of the transcription. Okay, so let's start. This is the what happened during initiation. So here is the promoter site. So the first thing is RNA polymerase will bind to promoter. Okay, RNA polymerase bind to promoter. Then RNA polymerase determine which strand will be as a template. So as we know, DNA is double strand. So, in transcription process, only one strand will be choose as a template. So, RNA, so RNA polymerase will choose which strand to be a template. Okay, after recognize which strand to be used as a template, RNA polymerase will unwind the DNA double strand. Okay, RNA polymerase unwind double strand of DNA by breaking down the hydrogen bond between nitrogenous bases. Then RNA polymerase will add RNA nucleotide complementary to parental strand. Okay, in direction of five prime to three prime. Okay. And then the second step is elongation. So in elongation, RNA polymerase will continuously unwind the DNA double strand. So, the RNA polymerase will move downstream and continuously transcribe the DNA template strand by adding complementary RNA nucleotide. So, this process is continued until okay, the RNA polymerase reach terminator site. Okay, so when RNA polymerase reach terminator site, we show the third step, which is termination. So RNA polymerase will stop transcribing DNA. Then RNA polymerase will detach from DNA template strand. So the product is RNA, or we call as pre-mRNA. Okay. By the way, after... RNA polymerase transcribe the DNA double strand will form a helix structure back. Selepas RNA polymerase dia dah transcribe pada sesuatu unit so di bahagian yang telah ditranscribe DNA double strand akan combine together back and form a double helix structure semula. Okay? So here we already have the pre-mRNA then I told you pre-mRNA we then undergo RNA splicing, remove the intron region, which is non-coding region. Okay. So here is pre-mRNA as intron exon, intron exon. So exon is a coding region, but intron is non-coding region. So kita tak nak bahagian yang tidak membawa maksud apa-apa. So that's why RNA splicing berlaku, di mana bahagian intron akan dibuang. So, apa yang berlaku? mRNA is produced. So, see the difference? Okay. For pre-mRNA, as intron exon, intron exon. But after RNA splicing, mRNA, mature mRNA, will consist only exon, which have only coding region. Transcription has three steps, initiation, elongation, and termination. So, transcription occur in the nucleus where use information from DNA to produce mRNA. 
in DNA have three important regions to be known, which is promoter, transcription unit, and terminator. During the first step, which is initiation, RNA polymerase will bind to promoter. RNA polymerase will determine which DNA strand to be used as a template because in transcription, only one DNA strand acts as a template. After that, RNA polymerase will start to transcribe DNA strand in direction of 5' prime to 3'. Prime. RNA polymerase will add RNA nucleotide complementary to the template strand. In elongation, RNA polymerase will move downstream along the transcription unit. RNA polymerase will continuously unwind DNA strand and continuously added RNA nucleotide which complement to parental strand. If the parental strand, the base is adenine, so in transcription, uracil will be added. So the elongation of mRNA is from 5 prime to 3 prime. The unit that has been transcribed will form a double helix structure back. In termination, RNA polymerase arrive at terminator. So RNA polymerase will stop transcribe the DNA strand. RNA polymerase detach from DNA. And since RNA polymerase detach from DNA strand, so pre-mRNA will be released. Pre-mRNA will consist of intron and exon. After that, it may undergo process called RNA splicing. During RNA splicing, intron region will be removed because intron is referred to non-coding region. So, mature mRNA will consist only exon with a coding region. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.